If you're watching this video, then guess what? We lost. Or, well, we lost the battle. But we're winning the war. Or at least it seems that we're winning the war. It's just everybody who is everybody will tell you one of two things. One, we lost. It's over. Pack up. Go somewhere else. Or two, it, we lost. It's over. So we better fucking do what YouTube tells us to do or we're out. We're next. If we don't provide the content that YouTube wants us to provide, then we're done. The reason why I'm making this video is because I just found out that T-Series has surpassed PewDiePie in um, most subscribers. And it's appalling to me. It, it really is. It's appalling. It's offensive, really. It's offensive as a creator that a corporation has more subscribers than a creator. A corporation which shouldn't well, shouldn't even be on YouTube to begin with. YouTube is a place where everybody, and I mean everybody, has an opportunity to create their own creation. For example, I wear a dumb mask and do some dumb, cheesy acting, whatever you want to call it. Markiplier does some skits alongside with his gaming content. PewDiePie does whatever the fuck he wants and gets bad media because of one thing that didn't even happen or one thing that happened but was blamed on him or something. Bad press. Constantly. Not to mention, you know, the millions and millions and millions of dollars that each and every single person donates to charity. You want to know how much money I personally have donated to a charity? I don't even know. I know it's at least in the thousands by now. I've donated thousands of dollars of my own money to charity. And it might might not seem like a lot of money, like a dollar a day. What are you going to use a dollar for other than maybe uh, a can of soda? Donate, instead of going to the vending machine, getting a can of soda... How about donating that dollar to uh, Children's Health Care of Atlanta, for example? Just the closest charity that's to me. It, it, nobody reports on that kind, uh, on that kindness. Nobody will ever report how much money the Yogscast donates year after year after year. Three million dollars donated to all kinds of charities this past December. Who reported on that? Nobody. Nobody reported on it. Maybe the BBC in the United Kingdom, but nobody here in the United States. Absolutely nobody. And it's appalling. It's an outright disgrace that not one person, not even a single news story, so-and-so donated $2 million out of a charity stream. In a charity stream. Jason, from Jason Paradise, donated $500 of his own money. 
with a lot more from everybody else through donations to um, the charity of his choosing. I can't remember what the charity name is, and I do apologize about that, but it's just a prime example. The media doesn't fucking care anymore. The media just doesn't fucking care. All they care about is taking down top creative YouTubers so that corporations can continue to rise and take over the internet, basically. And the fact that T-Series has more subscribers than PewDiePie is only step one. Because guess what? Guess what? Uh, instead of a creator, a corporation is number one now. The number one best. Nobody will ever, ever get bigger than them. Because guess what? They will demand that channel to be shut down. And they can do it because they're the top spot. PewDiePie... PewDiePie wouldn't do such a thing. PewDiePie wouldn't shut down somebody. He would promote that somebody. And he has. He has time and time again promoted people. Jacksepticeye is a great example. Look out how many subscribers he has compared to Markiplier and PewDiePie combined. Look at how many creators are still fighting against T-Series or trying to fight against T-Series. Look at how many people say, subscribe to PewDiePie, unsubscribe to T-Series, make sure that these people are not, or are not on your subscribe list because guess what? YouTube is putting is pushing the subscribe button on your account. They're forcing you to subscribe to these people when you aren't subscribed. What you need to do right now is go through your subscribers list and unsubscribe to anybody you don't even watch anymore. You, you've never watched for who knows how long. What you need to do is go through your subscribers list and make sure that T-Series is not on your subscription list because guess what? YouTube may have put that on your subscription list purposefully because they want T-Series on top. They want a corporation on top rather than a creator. A few comments that I've seen in many, many videos saying, I'm Indian and I don't support T-Series. Their own people don't support their own corporation. What the fuck does that make you, T-Series? That makes you EA. That, it, that makes you, you know, the number one target on everybody's list of who to avoid. Yet the number one. Why? How? I'll tell you why and how. Fake accounts. That's why and how. Fake accounts are being made by either by T series or by multitudes of people. They're constantly creating email after email. Account after account and verifying each email, each account so on and so forth. They're going through this process just so they can be on top. They've dedicated 100,000 people. You are paid to create at least 20 emails with 20 YouTube accounts every single day. And we'll give you $1,000 or something like that every day or something. I don't know. I don't know what the price range for that is. And I'll be damned if that actually exists. And I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it. If there is at least 100,000 dedicated people that is being paid $1,000 uh, every fucking day, then YouTube 
needs to do something about it. But the fact of the matter is, is that YouTube will never do something about it because this is what YouTube wants. It's either YouTube's doing or T-Series is doing or both of them doing. They don't want creators on top. They've made it clear with the past YouTube Rewind of last year. Oh, I'm so prepped. No, you're not. You're offended. I'm offended that you're so proud. I'm so proud of the community. No, you're not. The community doesn't like what YouTube is putting out. So YouTube is punishing us by doing this. And it's appalling. It's offensive towards creators everywhere. It's basically telling you, if you're not a corporation, shame on you. If you're not a corporation, I look down on you. If you're not a corporation, get the fuck off my website. That's what they're saying. That is exactly what they're saying. And if this video gets taken down, then I'm just going to remake it. I'll remake it and I'll put it on some other website and I'll make sure that people see this video. I'll make sure because this is what YouTube is going to be from now on. It's going to be a corporate ran shit fest from here on out. And there's nothing we can do about it. That's all I have to say about that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.